Hi everyone. Today we're going to work on a yoga video for equestrians. One of the main issues with riders can be tightness as well as lack of strength in the core. So we're going to work on a vis video that includes some sun salutations as well as core strengthening exercises and flexibility mainly through the hips. Okay, so here now we have my daughter Juliana who's going to run us through a sun salutation A. So she's in mountain pose at the top of the mat. She's going to take a few deep breaths in and out. Two, three. Okay, now she's going to inhale. Arms up, exhale, fold all the way down, hands toward the toes. Inhale, look up, so straight, flatten the back. Exhale, plant the hands and step right foot, then left foot back to a full plank. Inhale, look up, exhale, slowly lower down. Good. Now take a minute here to pause and relax. Allow your face to look down toward the mat and lengthen your neck. Now inhale, eyes up. Exhale, come into a light baby cobra. Good. Exhale all the way back down to the mat. Roll your toes under and think about engaging your front muscles as you push up into and back to downward facing dog. Here we're going to pause for five deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Your head should be looking back towards your sternum or sorry your belly button. Thinking about lengthening your feet toward the mat. For some people this can be quite tight to begin with. Two, one, inhale, look up, exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, look up, step the other foot to meet. Excellent. And then slowly stand up to, to standing pose, mountain pose. Excellent. And then we're going to run through that two more times. Inhale, arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, eyes up, lengthening the spine, trying to keep your hands on the mat as you do so. Exhale, plant your hands and step your left foot back. And your right foot back to meet it. Meet it. Good. And here, take a moment in plank, bending your elbows, and bringing yourself halfway down, and then pausing. Good. And then all the way down. Inhale, eyes up to a baby cobra. Exhale, push yourself back to downward facing dog. Making sure you're pushing from your, el for, from your arms and your elbows. Excellent. Now here it's really important that you're thinking about lifting your tailbone. Good. And look, keeping your head down. Good. So your head stays relaxed. We don't want to be lifting the head. Excellent. Inhale, eyes up. Exhale, step or hop both feet up to the front of the mat. Good. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, arms all the way up. Good. And one more time. Okay, so our third round of sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, slowly fold. Placing the hands toward the toes. Inhale, look up, keeping the hands low. Exhale, plant the hands and step right foot, then left foot back to full plank. Good. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down to Chaturanga. Keeping the elbows in as you do. Good. Inhale, look up to upward facing dog. Exhale. What? Roll your toes and push back to downward facing dog. Good. Making sure your shoulders stay wide. 
Good. Looking back towards your belly button. Excellent. And three more deep breaths here. Two. Three. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step or hop both feet up to the top of your mat. Inhale, come halfway up, keeping the fingertips on the mat. Exhale, slowly come all the way up to standing. Excellent. We're going to start our warrior sequence, which will be about strengthening and stretching through our hip flexors and our core. So we're going to come to the top of your mat. Inhale, hands on the hips. Step your left foot back as far as you can. Now here, it's really important that our alignment is super correct. So our toes, front toes on the right leg are facing forward. Back toes are facing, uh, are facing outward at a 45 degree angle. So from here, warrior one is all about opening through our chest and midsection. So inhale your arms up, exhale, lower yourself down making sure that your knee stays over top of your ankle. We don't want it going forward because that could put strain on your knee. And we're gonna pause here for five breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we're going to change sides, so straighten the front leg, hands come to the hips, rotate your right foot to 45 degrees, rotate your left foot to straight ahead. Adjust your step to make sure you're comfortable, arms coming up, coming down, bending that front knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come back to the front where now we're going to move to side angle pose. So give your arms a little shake out. Now you're going to bend deep into your right knee and place your arm on your knee. And then you're going to rotate your left arm up over your head and then get as deep as possible. Again, this is opening through that hip angle as well as through your chest. Eyes should be facing toward your fingertips, or if you have any neck problems, you're just gonna look forward. And inhale here for five deep breaths. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale, bring your arm down. Exhale, push off your front leg, hands to the hips. Walk your toes to change direction. Inhale, arms elbow to the knee. Exhale, lengthening through the whole left side of your body, right side of your body. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale, push off, come up, and walk your toes slowly together. Okay, so back in mountain pose. We're going to inhale nice and deep. Make sure we're getting nice and centered. Exhale, step your left leg out to the side, about three to four feet. No, on your mat. There we go. Inhale, hands on your hips, and get nice and strong through your legs. So here we're going to work on a forward fold. So inhale, you're going to slowly start to hinge at your hips and bring your head toward the mat. Pausing halfway to look up and lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands toward the mat. Good, and see if you can reach towards or touch the mat. And you're going to pause here for five breaths, making sure that your legs are staying nice and strong and your knees are not bending. Do your best to keep your knees, your legs nice and firm. 
exhale, bring your hands to your elbows and just let yourself hang and relax. Heads down toward the, toward the mat and pausing here for three deep breaths. Inhale, eyes up, exhale, hands on your hips, and slowly coming up. Sometimes this can make us feel a little dizzy being upside down. And then take a deep breath here, slowly bringing your feet towards each other until you're just over hip width apart, a little bit wider there, Juliana. And then you're gonna lower yourself down into a nice deep squat. Good. We're going to bring our hands into prayer in the front of our chest. And you're lifting your chest nice and tall, shoulders rolling back. We're going to pause here for 10 deep breaths. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we're going to inhale coming all the way up to standing. So squatting is one of the best positions for opening our hip flexors and engaging our core. Now coming back to the top of your mat in mountain pose, Juliana. Thank you. And now we're going to do one more sun salutation, which we call a vinyasa when we're using it within our practice. And we're going to end up, after our downward facing dog, we're simply going to come to a cross-legged seated position. So when you're ready, 